Okay, hello, hello everyone. Um, hopefully, hopefully this is all working okay. OBS is telling me it's all working okay, so I think we're going to be okay. Um, hey guys, long time no see, how's it going? So, first of all, as I start every single live stream, please let me know if you guys can hear me okay. Um, I think you should be able to. Uh, I'm not seeing any issues there um, on OBS, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. And uh, once I know that everything's working, um, if I click in the game, you should get jet sound as well. Uh, once I know everything's okay, then I'll give a brief rundown of what's going to happen. Um, as you can guess from the title, it's not going to be anything serious. Um, but yeah, I just want to make sure that everything's working uh, with this new setup here. Uh, I can see we've got Anish in the chat there. I uh, love all your tutorials. I hope it can help you in the future. I hope so too, Anish. Thank you very much for uh, your comment there. Alvaro, welcome. Paul Martin. Uh, hello, hello, cheese and ham toasty, Ashwin, uh, Jagger, welcome guys, welcome Wayne, Robert, uh, you can hear me, excellent. Right, so, as the title of this livestream says, it's going to be a very quick one, it's only going to be about half an hour, I just want to try and test multiple games. The reason I want to test multiple games, uh, first of all, I want to make sure that you guys can watch this in 1080p, um, because I've set it all to work at 1080, so hopefully you guys can, uh, can watch this at 1080p quality. Um, the other thing is, uh, I want to test. Um, I'm going to test this FSX first of all, just to make sure that you guys, um, you know, that, just to make sure that streaming works. I'm also going to go on and test, uh, well, probably CS:GO, Counter Strike, uh, test that quickly, and also maybe Rocket League as well. Uh, the reason is that I want to test some kind of fast-paced action games, just to see how the quality holds up with like fast movement and a lot of kind of things changing very quickly on the screen. So hopefully. Um, that all works okay, but what we're going to do is just start off with FSX. We're just going to take this uh, uh, 737 around for a spin, uh, not a literal air aviation spin. But uh, let me know if you guys can see everything okay. What the quality is like? Is it good? Is it better than previously? For those of you who've seen my live streams before, uh, just please let me know uh, if you guys can give any feedback on sound quality, visual quality. Um, please let me know because that will really help me out. I say we got Darth Potter. I don't know. Everything sounds good. Excellent, Alex. Uh, yep, Tinny Jane Font. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for confirming. Right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, run through this very quickly. Um, I've already got the aircraft pre-flighted. It's not going to be an official procedure or anything like that. And just as I said, I just want to get through things quickly, um, just to try, uh, um, just to try uh, different things. So uh, let's see. Fuel tank pumps can all come on. Uh, I should actually be looking at the sys page here. Not yet, actually, because I need to turn on uh, hydraulics. Now I can check the sys page, make sure everything's okay on the hydraulics. Yep, uh, brakes okay there. Anti collision light comes on. Elevator trim, uh, 445. Set. Uh, we're not going to push back. So we're just going to start. So engine there. Uh, let's see, packs go off. Start engine two. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, cheese and ham toasty. Do I play Fortnite occasionally? It's not my. It's not one of my more regular games, but I do play. It. I have played it, and I do play it. I might even play it a little bit on this live stream. Uh, as I said, I'm only going to be live streaming for about half an hour because this is just testing, just to see that everything works okay, everything runs smoothly. Um, and just to kind of get a little bit of initial feedback from you guys. Uh, let's see, Wayne, uh, YouTube channel is interesting because you own a company who calculates takeoff and landing data. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, Darth, great quality, looks fine, looks great, everything's so much better. Good, I'm glad, 1080p, very nice quality, 1080 awesome. Costa asks, yes, asks, Tikanes, or Tikanete. Uh, is this uh, 800NG aircraft? Yes, it is. Uh, streaming 1080, excellent. Alex flying a uh, Diamond 42 uh, while watching this harder than you think. I uh, stick on autopilot if it works. Um, let's see, Darth, great job on the PMTG. It's, thank you very much. I'm glad you. Uh, I'm glad you like them. So we get engine two. But yeah, let me know. Can you guys like read the text? Can you kind of follow the numbers here? Is it easy to see? Uh, hopefully, it's a lot clearer than it used to be on 480p live streams. Uh, looks like the connection is stable. I'm not seeing any dropped frames, so you guys shouldn't be getting any stuttering. There's certainly nothing uh, happening on my end which would suggest that, which is all good. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, let's have a look. I'm, I'm glad. Thank you guys for confirming that the quality looks better. Um, obviously, once the live stream is finished, I'll go back and have to watch this. Um, I'll have to go back and watch this um, kind of myself just to see. But uh, from what you guys are saying, it looks like it's all okay. Wayne, uh, 26k with flaps 5 bleeds off. I should go. Uh, well, this, because this is the PMDG liveried aircraft, you can actually do a 27k bump to the engine, <laughs> engine takeoff, so I should go for that. Uh, but I'm just going to stick to what I know with this thing. Um, it? Engine generators, uh, probe heats on, uh, packs come back to auto, that goes to auto, that goes off, uh, that goes there, that goes there, APU goes off, flaps lever, set 5, uh, check controls. So this is all seeming a bit rushed, and this is not official procedure or nothing. I'm not doing this to be uh, perfect or exact. Um, as I said, I'm just uh, going to do a quick, very quick flight in this, and then we'll move on to another game, which is a bit more action-packed, to see if the uh, quality holds out with that. So, taxi light comes on. Uh, parking brake can come off. Uh, parking brake wasn't even on to begin with. Anyway... <coughs> Uh, let's see. Text and numbers are clear, crisp as walkers. Excellent. Uh, sound is also noticeably, be noticeably better. Is it really? Because actually, um, drop the sound uh, or the audio bit rate from 44. What was it? 44 kilohertz down to 40 something point one, or 48 kilohertz down to um, 44.1. So the, the sound quality should be worse, if anything, but uh, uh, I was just using the uh, the recommended settings uh, from, uh, or the recommended stream settings that YouTube and Twitch recommend for 1080p 30fps live streaming. Uh, let's see, Pilot Panos, Yasu, Tikanis. Uh, where am I landing? Right back here at Inverness. Um, so I'm taking off from Inverness, Echo Golf Papa Echo. Uh, we're just going to fly around and come back straight back here. Um... Let's see, uh, stream with airplanes today, you lost the military pilot, Mirage 2000, crashed into the sea, five miles from Skiros. Oh, damn. Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. This, there's been a, a few air, aircraft or aviation accidents this year already. Because wasn't there a, um, a cargo plane? It was either yesterday or the day before. Wasn't there a cargo plane filled with people um, that crashed as well? I've noticed there's a lot of aviation accidents seemingly this year. Um, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that happened in Greece. I love Greece. I was actually thinking last night about when I'm going to come come back over to Greece. <coughs> I'd love to come over again this summer at some point. <coughs> uh, let's see, Wayne, uh, 27k awesome, came in there always. It uses 24, 22, 24, 26. Yeah, I believe it's um, it's an option for airlines. They can kind of choose whether to have those those options or not. Pilot panels, you make you say fantastica, if you stop. So get lined up, and something I haven't or haven't shown you guys yet. Uh, let's try try it with this as well. Hopefully you got. Let me know if you guys can clearly see what's on the HUD and, and all the symbology and bits and pieces on that there. Uh, I should drop the fixed landing lights, but I'm not going to. So I'll just take off and do a quick, uh, quick fly around. Uh, Alex Bragg, uh, hang on, cargo plane full of people. No, I meant, um, sorry, I'm, I'm not thinking straight because it's. I'm just not, my brain's not fully engaged to be live streaming. Um, no, it was, a, it was like a military plane, a military transport plane, I think. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, Jaga, oh, sorry, Yaga, sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name properly there. Um, 2008 is the worst for aviation, exact opposite of 2017. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, Agus, am I a real pilot? No, I'm not. Uh, FlyX, welcome, how's it going? Um, sorry, cheese and ham toasty. When do I stream? Um, usually it's either Saturdays or Wednesday nights, um, but I am going to start getting a, a proper schedule together. Um, I'll probably on YouTube, I'll probably stick to Saturday mornings UK time and um, Saturday mornings UK time and then uh, Wednesday nights UK time. Uh, but I'm, I want to start being more regular um, here on YouTube and then also on Twitch as well. I want to start uh, uh, I want to start live streaming a bit more frequently as well. Uh, let's see, Sebastian, uh, last year was a safer year to fly, certainly, well, it seems that way. Uh, FlyX, long time no see, as with a while, FlyX, how are, how are you, man? How's the, uh, how's all the scenery development stuff coming along? Um, uh, let's see, Zach Collins, what am I flying? I'm flying the PMDG 787-800. Actually, let's, uh... Let's fly this manually, shall we? Throw a bit of a curveball in here. Uh, Rasmus, what up? Looking good? Thank you, Rasmus. Uh, I know you're talking about the stream and not me directly. Uh, yeah, we're now... Yeah, this as, as it says in the title, this is just a test live stream. Just to make sure that everything's working okay. Um, basically. So, uh, it seems to be okay. Uh, pilot panels? Nah, I don't mind that at all. So, it's, sometimes it's uh, if if like people go on and start talking about doing their own live streams on someone else's channel, um, it can be a bit disrespectful. But uh, I don't mind just acknowledging that someone's there and uh, like another YouTuber is around. Um, right, let's try and get this thing set up for landing. And let's do a five. Actually, I probably should turn the autopilot back on. Let's have a look here. Uh, nice to see 1080. Last time I saw you in this call, it was Cosford. I've never done 1080 on my channel. The closest I ever got uh, when I was living in London was 7, uh, 70, 720. Yeah, I've never done 1080. So, uh, yeah. Uh, new, uh, new territory. Um, let's see, Flyx has been good, been very busy. How am I? I'm doing good, Flyx. Thank you very much. It's me settled up in Scotland now. Clouds are awesome. Yeah, I think the clouds... It might actually be default cloud textures in FSX. If I remember correctly. Um, yeah, I think they might be default textures. Uh, that's it. Radials, that's what, what I need. Then we'll set the uh, ILS courses in. I've, I've flown here at Inverness so frequently that I know everything off by heart. I know all the frequencies, the ILS courses, the whole shebang. Uh, blessing, what game is this? This is Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator X, or FSX, as it's more commonly known. Uh, let's see. Um, Let's have a look here. Uh, let's have a look. Sorry, I'm just catching on comments here. Uh, Paul, has a new place? Yeah, it's going good. Yeah, it's good to be back. Back up the roads. In Bonnie, Scotland. Oops, now we need to go a bit further. Yeah, 
weather here has been incredible today as well. Not hot, but just like very bright and very sunny and cheery. So, um, yeah, it's been really good up here. Uh, Costas, uh, I have to go. Looking forward to the next live stream. Bye, mate. No worries. The next proper live stream might be this Saturday. Um, if everything works tonight and I'm happy and you guys are happy with the quality tonight, then I'll probably do a proper live stream on Saturday, this Saturday coming up, uh, 10 a.m. UK time. Let's see, have I done everything I need to do for landing? Probably not. I don't even, can't even remember what my VRF speed was, 115. Uh, yeah, so as I said, this is just, this is not a proper flight, this is just, um, this is just me, um, kind of just very quickly putting the flight together. Uh, did I, I didn't even raise the landing gear off the takeoff, <laughs> whoops, never mind, it's alright, it'll be fine. Um, Let's see, Jacob, do I have any flight experience? Uh, I do actually have a couple of hours logged in. Uh, one in a Piper Tomahawk, one in a Piper Warrior. Um, so I do have a little bit of real world flight experience, but certainly not enough to... Uh, um, to kind of classify myself as a real world pilot. Uh, so we just got the glide slope there as well. Gosh, what do we need? We need speed brake, that would help. Uh, the auto brake is set. Landing lights are down. We've got landing gear, three green lights. Is there anything else I need? There's probably a lot more stuff that I need, but uh, let's have a look here. Um, FlyX, like your 737 tutorials, by the way, you need to finish watching them. No worries. They're there, they're, they're not going anywhere, so uh, feel free to watch them as and when you like. Let's bring the HUDs down again. Right, I'll do a full manual landing here. We'll see how this goes. Uh, let's see. Uh, Joss, welcome. Uh, nice clouds for gliding, by the way. Yeah, I mean, this is just the uh, the fair weather preset. Um, yeah, once I land, I'm not going to taxi back to the terminal or anything. I'm just going to land, and then we'll load up another game, a more action-packed game, just to see how the uh, live stream quality holds up. Uh, yeah, this is just the uh, fair weather presets in FSX here. Uh, Virtual Aviator, welcome. Uh, let's see, Flyx, it's worse when you forget to put it down. Oh, don't I know it. Although I do, I, I, I do still believe that I redeemed myself uh, for the Christmas live stream where we flew to Innsbruck. That was a decent touchdown as well, I'm still proud of that one. Uh, Alvaro, welcome, how's it going? Um, let's see, beer, uh, why do I like flying? Uh, because you get a lot of freedom with flying. You know, when you're up in the air, you can just kind of go anywhere you want. You know, you're, you've you got the, the power, and I'm sure, I'm, I think that flying is something that you know, is like a superpower that everyone at some point in their lives would love to have. And uh, you know, flying air aircraft is the closest that you could get to to that. So um, I don't know why. It's just something I've been fascinated with my whole life. Uh, Ash the Bash, welcome. Uh, Bask in the 1080p quality. Oh yeah. I've I've got a little um, I've got a little intro planned for this this weekend's live stream because I think the quality is okay. I'm certainly not seeing any dropped frames on OBS. So I think um, I think I've got the settings pretty good here, and the connection seems stable enough uh, to support it. So um, yeah, so I think I'll do another proper live stream 
and uh, yeah, we'll get some uh, we'll get some uh, some jokes on the go there. But from what everyone said so far, it looks like you can all read the text and see everything in the cockpit. That's the point. Let me know. Can you guys see the text on the, the HUD clearly in the live stream? Oops. That's what we're at. There we go. It'll be interesting to know if you guys can read the uh, HUD text clearly or not. Uh, let's have a look here. Alex, can I do my next live stream uh, in a 320 just because I haven't for a while? I could, can do, yeah, I was thinking of actually um, doing uh, multiple aircraft on the live stream. Like, so I do a fly, like a one one hour flight, a one hour leg. Um, in the 737, I'll do the return flight in A320. I'll do like a couple of circuits. Because there's probably a lot of people who have watched my live streams have seen me fly those aircraft live, but I've never like seen the quality of those, those aircraft. 100. So, I might, yeah, I might do multiple 50, aircraft. 30, 20, 10, 10. Yeah, we're there. Head's going through the hard again, but I do have the wheels down this time. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, six shot, hello, on approach to runway 25 at Inverness, are we? Yes, we are. Uh, flight simmer, welcome. Uh, pilot, as I said, uh, many flight sim streamers, like default uh, textures, uh, don't need all it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's see, six shot, we're flying as a KLM 77, now nah, it's just a PMTG one, actually. Uh, like a channel, which com country do I come from? I'm from the UK, Scotland originally, uh, but I'm in the UK. Uh, Flyx, HUD text is clear, excellent. Uh, can read the HUD fine, HUD is clear, HUD is clear. Okay. Excellent. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to exit that. We'll do a bit of Counter-Strike now. So as I said, I want to play something a bit more action-packed, uh, just to see how the live stream holds up, if the quality remains with kind of fast-moving uh, things happening on the screen there. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, shame Norboard isn't there, it really ruins the view on approach. Uh, Norboard, that's the uh, like the big factory and the big smoke plume thing, isn't it? Um, let's see. Uh, someone was talking about my accent earlier. Where was that? Um, Alvaro, I uh, love your accent. Some of the Scottish maybe. Yes, I'm from the Scottish Highlands. So that's where my uh, accent is from. Uh, blessing, uh, do I fly with a joystick? Yes, I do. Uh, Joss, nice landing. Thank you very much. Pilot, Miles <laughs> Money, thank you. Um, let's see, uh, Rav, Razvan, welcome, uh, great landing, thank you very much. Yeah, that was a pretty pretty smooth one. But then again, the aircraft had no passengers, very little fuel in it. Uh, it would kind of be, it would be a disgrace if I um, if I landed it badly. Uh, Flyx, is that the Fortnite launcher logo on the bottom? Every single person I know plays it. Yes, I do have, I do have, uh, I do have Fortnite, and I may be playing it on over on Twitch at some point. Uh, let's see, uh, Alvaro Steam account that money. Yeah, uh, I wish the dot was two two spaces over. Um, oh, that money that I've got on my Steam account is just from selling, uh, selling crates on CS:GO. <laughs> That's all it is basically. Alex, do I play Civ Six? No, but I do play Civ Five very occasionally. I might actually do play a little bit of Civ Five uh, on on the stream once I'm done here. Oh yeah, I've got a pistol. All right, come out, come out wherever you are. There we go. Oh, I am getting a little bit of stuttering in game. That's probably because OBS is working overtime. Come on. Uh, Norbert's the woodworking factory, second tower. Oh, really? Didn't know that. Uh, if you're low on the guy's still wind is going. Yeah, I can imagine that would get right in the way. Having those two smokestacks. There we go, gone. 
So let me know guys, can you see everything clearly? Can you see the text on the screen clearly? Um, can you keep up with what's going on? Is everything making sense? I can hear, okay. There we go. Um, do you want me to get rid of my face cam so you can see the uh, kill feet? Oh, wow. See, I told you I was good at Counter-Strike. I told you I was good at Counter-Strike. Let's have a look. Uh, who's that down there? I heard, I heard a gunshot. Um, let's see, pilot panels. Don't forget, Giros and Uzo are still waiting for you. Good, thank you. I, I, need, I need I need it. Uh, Mava, Mavadrian, I uh, love your accent. You have a very calming voice. Well, thank you very much. I'll try and uh, talk in a much more calming tone from now on. Uh, negative, okay, why not? Uh, let's see, Alex, stuttering is hardly noticeable for us. No, I mean, it's it's very, it's like micro stuttering for, for me. So it's, down there. It's, it's like very, very minor stuttering. There's one behind that door somewhere. I haven't played competitively with a Negev. I never do, so... Uh, You move so slow with this thing yet. I mean, to be fair, I am playing against bots, but still, I'm doing I'm doing all right. Get away! Oh, we already got him. Never mind. Okay, that's good. Uh, all smooth, all good. Close the summer's day. Excellent. Get the good old AVP on the go. Sounds like we'll have fun down there. So it's got to be some mid, eventually. So it'll be behind long. So I'm trying to like vocalize what's going through in my mind here so as I'm playing this. Gun ready, because there will be someone here. I told you. That was shocking. Uh, let's see, uh, for I, uh, do I like racing games? Uh, yes I do, yeah. Come back. Come back. Gotcha. Oh, you cheeky little sod. Uh, rat -a -tat -tat. There's actually, um, there is, you can buy a, a paint job or a gun skin uh, in Counter-Strike called rat -a -tat -tat for that gun. Oh. Come on. Do you want to get that guy? He's right in that corner. Get him. He did get him, well played. Um, let's see, Ray, I uh, didn't realise if this was like this, we'd try landing somewhere else again. Yeah, it's it's gone downhill since since I moved to London and come back. You know, you've got all these like signs in this weird language. I think it's Scottish, it could be. Whoa, okay. Um, what's the uh, like the, the sort of the quality and the clarity of things? Can you guys kind of follow, follow with uh, everything that's going on? Oh. Oh, yeah. uh, got the all pair ready for the fifty. <laughs> now, as as you can see, some <clears throat> sometimes I can play with the op really well. Other times I can't. Um. Yeah, I'm kind of hit and miss. I get it, hit and miss with the op. Um, sometimes I play really well with it. Sometimes I just I can't hit anything. Heard you being all day. Yeah, I'm getting some minor stuttering and dropped well frame rate problems, but that's that's problems on my end. So you guys won't see that. 
Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Uh, Mavadrian, 10 Canadian dollars. Wow, thank you very much. That's really kind of you. Um, for the good work with the PMDG, you deserve it. Oh, thank you very much. That's very, very kind of you. I appreciate that. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, let's see, Pilot Panos. Uh, one of your classmates makes fun of you when you speak English because you have an Australian accent. Uh, what's wrong with that? I can't understand him. No, I mean, so I mean, it depends on where you, you know, like a lot of people, you know, anyone who knows, who's watched my channel knows that one of my good mates is UMP Snae. And a lot of people, when we're playing Counter Strike, for example, a lot of people think he's American uh, because, you know, he's watched a lot of American films. So he's kind of learned English through, you know, American, through watching Americans. And, um,. And yeah, a lot of people mistake or think that he's American for some reason when he's uh, most certainly a, a Greek who speaks English very well. Uh, so, like, uh, Alex, uh, honestly, it's a really clear and smooth stream. Good, I'm glad. Seems like uh, seems like the settings that I've got for the stream at the moment are okay. Uh, CSGO is really just like if you go down very way on Saturday afternoon. Or Saturday night. I haven't actually been down the ferry for good reason. Uh, let's see. Charlie got so excited for the live stream I thought it was FSX. We were doing FSX, uh, but as it says in the title, multiple games. Uh, I want to test the uh, live stream quality playing both uh, something nice and kind of docile like FSX where there's not much movement going on. Uh, and I also wanted to test a live stream with some action-packed, sort of fast-paced movement like Counter-Strike. And I'll go and play a little bit of Rocket League in a moment as well. Uh, I'll play Rocket League very badly, but I'll play it. And then uh, after that I'll go and have some dinner, because I'm hungry. Um, for for I, I like when you say hello, <laughs> you lawyer start your videos. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that kind of started, because I, I kind of got the inspiration from you know, like an old, um, an old policeman, like old policemen would always go, hello, hello, sort of thing. Um, and I kind of took it from that, and then it just kind of morphed into its own thing and became, um, became a sort of, like, a catchphrase for me. Oh, there's another one in there. Um, yeah, it kind of became its own catchphrase. Um, Alex, probably sounds stupid, but they use pens in Scotland, don't they? Yes, yes we do. Although, uh, if you like, we, we do use pounds in Scotland, but it's um, it's kind of the uh, currency is marked slightly differently. Like paper currency is marked with um, like kind of Scottish. Uh, it's like it says instead of Bank of England, it says Bank of Scotland, and it's got different like pictures on the notes. But it is still pounds sterling. You can still use it. Although English people always seem to take offence when you try and use Scottish marked notes in England, even though it's uh, what they call legal tender. You know, it's, it's no different. Five, a, five, a five pound Scottish note is no different to a five pound English note apart from its appearance. Um, it's still legally valid and you know is worth exactly the same amount of money. But people in England, cer certainly in the past, they used to be like really offended if you gave them Scottish money in England. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, we do use pounds in Scotland. Um... Uh, SLS, will I do 777 tutorials? Yes, I will do. Um, yeah, seven, the seven, 777 was one of the more popular options in the uh, the last video that I released where I just asked people for their input. Um, oh, hello. So, um, yeah, the 777 proved to be quite a popular choice, so uh, I might do that soon. Sooner rather than later, but um, yeah, there will definitely be 777 tutorials. Uh, right, that's a game of Counter Strike done. Let's go and play a game of Rocket League next. See what Rocket League looks like. Uh, let's see, Pilot Panos, uh, born and grown up in Greece, but you like the Australian accent, so practiced on it. Now you have an Australian accent. You're quite proud of that. No, absolutely. If you can, if you can nail an accent from a different part of the world, then uh, no, absolutely, go for it. Uh, let's see, Joss, uh, fast computer. Yeah, it's, I'm pretty lucky that I've got a pretty. I built my computer about three or four years ago. Um, but I kind of tried to future-proof it, so I kind of bought some of the best parts that were available for the time, and um, 
Uh, yeah, so it's quite it was quite a powerful computer. It was one of like it had some of the best components in it three or four years ago. Um, obviously, Nvidia then went and done the nine series graphics cards, the ten series. But um, no, it's still a pretty powerful, um, pretty powerful setup. Oh goodness. Okay, this is really struggling f right now. Um, so yeah, so I'm very lucky that I do have a, a powerful computer. Come on, cross it in. Someone pick it up? No. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, Manish, uh, do for you're waiting for the 737 videos. Oh, half, most of them are already out. Oh, that was lucky. Yeah, well, well, the, well some, so, certainly some of the more practical videos are already out. So uh, go and check them out on the channel. Uh, Alex, will Dovetail ever use both CPU and GPU? Uh, pff, I don't know. You'll have to bring that up with Dovetail. Um, oh god, don't drink and live stream and read chat because it's very difficult. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Just let that in. <coughs> um, let's see, Flyx. Given the Scottish five pound note on the Jet Two flight, didn't know they were even a thing. Never seen one. Yep. Whoa. Okay, connection issues. Uh, that might be the live stream interfering gameplay. I don't know. Uh, let's see, six shot. You can use English money in Scotland, but not vice versa. I say that's not right. Perhaps uh, do another uprising, Culloden Part Two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> possibly. Well, the thing is, I don't. I think it it wasn't a big issue in London. It was usually like corner shops, which were not you know run by by you know people of um, sort of Indian and sort of other Middle Eastern descents. Um, yeah, there was usually corner shops which are a bit weird about it, and uh, also motorway um, motorway service stations used to be really bad about it as well. But I think it's better. Oh yeah, I'm definitely getting some connection issues in game. My ping is a bit iffy. Oh, we can save that. We can save that. Oh, come on. Um. Yeah, I'm getting occasional lag spikes in game. I'm not sure if that's my connection starting to struggle with it or what, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Oh, there goes connection again. And again. Okay, so I might have to drop the bitrate a bit more, but. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. This is the first competitive game that I'm playing. The other two games I was I was playing both of those offline, so maybe I'll have to drop change the stream settings just to reduce the sort of the loads on my connection because I keep getting these lag spikes playing this, uh, which obviously is not good if you if I wanted to live stream competitive gaming or multiplayer gaming. Uh, let's see. Uh, green light zone, welcome. Uh, Baru's welcome. Uh, Love is yours. Keep them going. Uh, live streaming, smooth, good stuff. Thank you for letting me know, Ray. Um, yeah, the, I think the live stream is okay, but um, certainly if I'm playing multiplayer, it seems to be putting a bit of extra strain on the uh, on this connection speed. It shouldn't be because uh, multiplayer games should be better optimized. They shouldn't be using that much data, but. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, what's my upload connection? Uh, I, I tested it earlier as being 9 megabytes upload, and I'm effectively running the stream at 7. Um, so I should have a, a 2 megabyte upload buffer, but uh, it doesn't seem to be the case in practice, unless Rocket League have really made their uh, multiplayer netcode inefficient for any reason. Oh, what are you doing? I know I've been a bad goalkeeper this game, but no need to try and score an own goal here. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, Flyx, you think motorway service stations will be used to it? Always dealing with people travelling, some of which from Scotland. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's the thing, but I now remember... Um, so, I mean, this this is when I was maybe... Well, when I was a lot younger, I remember... Um, yeah, getting my, watching my dad get into an argument um, <clears throat> ages and ages ago over... You know, because we were trying to pay for some... You know, for dinner, effectively. And my dad only had Scottish money and he wouldn't take it. They, like, they scanned... They had, like, a little infrared... Not infrared, like, ultraviolet scanner. They scanned it like it was a legit... You know, piece of money. Um, they scanned it, but this person got their manager called in, um, and they said we can't accept it, even though it's legit. We can't accept it. It had like the magnetic strip in it, and it's just like, come on, people. <clears throat> let's see. Um, let's see, Alex. Uh, maybe you should make a second channel for uh, gaming and stuff. Expand my viewer base. Might be a bit too much though. Well, the thing is, I'm thinking of um, like as, as I said in my video. Uh, last weekend, I'm thinking of doing a stream, st live streaming a variety of games um, because live streams generally take a lot less kind of production. Um, you know, live streams I can just kind of set them up and go and just enjoy the game, and you guys can enjoy me watching it. Whereas if um, you know, if I compare that to something like a tutorial video, like uh, there's a lot of time goes into planning it and then editing it and setting it all up and making you know graphics and animations and stuff whereas uh, live streams I can just hit start live streaming and away you go anyway um, that was a thing that we just did anyway uh, let's should we play one more game oh I like that song though um, <clears throat> what other game could we play it's maybe slightly something a bit different. Uh, Grand Theft Auto will take too long to set up. Uh, payday 2, let's play, play a bit of Payday 2. Um, <clears throat> let's see, Alex, uh, yeah that was the second channel question. Uh, Joss, how are my real life flight lessons going by the way? Uh, well they're not going at the moment because I can't afford to do any real world flying but fingers crossed um, I've applied for a pretty decent job up here and if I can get that um, then hopefully I'll be earning an, quite a lot of or quite quite good money. So um, Steam VR white. I don't have a VR headset. Don't know why it's telling me that. Um, <clears throat> so um, yeah, so I'm not going. I'm not doing any real world flying for the time being. Uh, Wanted Badger, oh, brilliant name. Uh, what's my favorite GA plane? Uh, probably Cessna one. Probably the one eight two at the moment. I'm, I'm liking that. Uh, EGGB, hello, Doofus HD, I certainly am. Um, yeah, we're just testing a variety of games. This is probably be the last game that I'm gonna, last game I'm gonna play. Uh, let's see, Bank House Cash. Do that. Um, let's have a look here. Six shot. Uh, I have DCS installed. Yes, I do have DCS installed. Uh, I was trying to play it earlier. Actually, I was trying to run through the tutorial. Not, I wasn't playing it earlier. I was playing it last night. I was running through the tutorial missions, and I can't finish them for some reason. There's there's a bug in the uh, there's a bug in yeah some of the the uh, frog fruit tutorials, which uh, makes them unfinishable. Um, which is a bit of a shame, so I'm, I'm struggling to uh, to get to grips with it at the moment. Excellent. Time to put it to the test. Uh, stealth, yep. Yeah. Uh, green light, can I join the game? Uh, uh, well, I, I mean, I'm going to be finishing this live stream pretty soon. Okay. Um, it was only intended to be quite a short one, just to test settings and stuff. Um, playing uh, playing uh, Rocket League there was quite interesting. It was telling me that there were some issues with... Um, Oh no, the vault's in the wrong place. It was yeah, the Rocket League was telling me that I maybe need to dial back the bitrate um, a bit on the uh, live stream because it was struggling to play like a consistent. Uh, it was, uh, like I was struggling with connection problems during that uh, that game of Rocket League there. Uh, Alex A two A one eighty two is amazing, it certainly is. 
a six shot just moved to 2.5 perhaps it didn't import them to the new map right um, well it wasn't on the new map it was still on the um, the old map the original map um, but yeah this maybe there, there are some some issues uh, for example <coughs> what do we on the uh, frogfoot internal cannon uh, tutorial um, yeah apparently you have to fly through a gate uh, which is uh, embedded in the ground it's just like that's not gonna work uh, whoa go away oh no <laughs> that's gone wrong that's all gone wrong um, let's see if we look here DCS is a weird sim if you want to get past the bugs it's not too bad no I like I like DCS um, I just haven't it's, it's like X plane. I just haven't really spent much time with it. Uh, I don't want to be playing this mission. I'm kind of committed to doing this mission because I've spent a, th a million dollars to to buy it. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Payday too a lot recently as well. Getting the hang of doing missions um, sort of solo. Um, and then the harder difficulties and faults in the wrong place again. Bullets on now. Uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, the thing with with payday though, it is very slow paced at times. For example, if you set up a drill and you're trying to drill into a vault or something. Um, yeah, it can be very slow paced and there's a lot of kind of just waiting around, waiting for bad guys to get in the right right place. Oh, actually. Uh, let's have a look here. Alex, got to go and eat. Stomach can't hold up much longer. No worries. Uh, I'll be I'll be having dinner very shortly as well. See you in the next stream. Good luck on the job. Thank you very much, Alex. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, so the next live stream or the next kind of official live stream will be this Saturday. Um... Yeah, I decided I'll probably do one this um, this Saturday, and we'll do a proper good old fashioned live stream. Not sure what the format's going to be. I was thinking of maybe flying a bunch of different aircraft, uh, like do a, an outbound leg with a seven three seven, do an inbound leg with um, with the A three twenty, do a few circuits VFR with an A two A aircraft, and yeah. We'll, uh, we'll do something like that. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, let's see, green light zone. Sometimes F6 feels like it costs more than real flight school, especially with all those add-ons. I, I mean, I'm sure it can do. Like, if you end up... Um, if you end up... Oh, hello. Um, yeah, if you end up doing, like, real... Trying to create, like, a real cockpit type thing. Like, I've seen people who do, like, the real home setups... Imagine your spending could easily go into the thousands. Just jumping in here because I want to try and encourage one of the guards to come in here. Uh, let's see, wanted badger. Is the Majestic Dash 8 for F6 worth buying with the extremely high price tag? Uh, depends which uh, version of the Dash 8 you want to get. Uh, I just got the basic one and. Um, I, I believe it is a, a pretty darn good uh, simulation of the Dash 8. Even even the, the most basic version is pretty good. So, um, I'm not even to come in this room. Um, so yeah, so even even the, the the simplest version is is worth is worth the money. I would say um, the the middle version and the higher version. Um, I don't think are worth worth the price unless unless you're gonna learn to fly the Dash Eight for real. I don't think it's worth <clears throat> getting either the mid middle level or the uh, high level um, version of it. Um, but yeah, uh, judging by everyone's kind of comments and feedback on the last video that I did. Uh, um, yeah, it'll probably be the Dash 8 will probably be the next uh, probably be the next series uh, once I've done with the 737 and doing a few additional videos for the 737 
I'll probably move on and do the um, uh, yeah dash eight after that. On the ground, down. Uh, cool. Let's see. Green light. I uh, can't wait till summer holidays. Going to go for GPL SPL. Nice. That'll be the perfect time to do it in the summer as well. I'm going to try something risky here. No, I'm not. Sit down. Oh, I need the guards to come into this room so I can take them out. Because the vault is right there. But I can't get to it because there's all these members of the public and there's all these guards. So if I want to stealth this mission, I can't, I can't really do anything with it. Come on, come in here. Come in here. Get in here! And I've lost the guard. I've only got a visual on two guards, so I've lost one. Where's he gone? Is he outside somewhere? Yes, he is. Yeah, if anyone knows how what what payday is, basically it's like a heist um, game. It's a game all around like heisting and and all the rest of it. So um, yeah, basically I've I've played this map many times. I know that there are three guards on this map. Uh, I uh, how on earth? Uh, oh, the guys behind the thing. Okay. Never mind. No, we don't. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there. Um, yeah, so so I know I know this map. Basically, there's three guards. You have to take those out, and then you can start drilling into a, a vault, and then you steal a bunch of money, and everyone has a good time after that. Anyway, um, I think I'm gonna leave this live stream here because, uh, as I said, it was only just a quick test live stream. Um, judging by the the quality, everyone seems uh, seems to approve of the quality. Uh, the live stream was certainly stable, uh, although multiplayer gameplay wasn't, um, so I might have to tweak a few things to uh, to ensure that if I do play multiplayer games online, um, that everything runs smoothly. In fact, thinking about that, thinking about that, what I will do, what I will do, is uh, I'm going to finish this live stream here on YouTube. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to live stream on my Twitch channel later on. Um, what I'll do is I'll tweak a few settings. And then I'll live stream on Twitch and I might play some multiplayer games over on Twitch later tonight. So that'll be maybe 10 or 11 p.m. onwards. Um, again, it'll just be me, just be a, like a relatively quick live stream. But uh, I just want to te just want to uh, test OBS with Twitch as well. Um, but yeah, YouTube seems to have gone well. Um, so I think I'm going to leave that there. Uh, I'm not sure how many people we had. I think we had quite a few people jump in. Regardless, anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of sign off here. But anyway, um, if you want to come and see me later on, I'll probably try and live stream a little bit on Twitch later on, and we'll play maybe Payday again. Maybe we'll play CS:GO. Maybe we'll play Fortnite. Who <laughs> knows? Anyway, um, yeah. So thank you for everyone for coming along and watching. Thank you, uh, Mavadrian, for donating during this live stream. That was incredibly kind of you, uh, even though this wasn't a proper live stream or anything. Um, if anyone is watching after the live stream, if anyone's watching as a video on demand, um, please comment below. Let me know if um, the quality was okay, um, and um, yeah, just let me know if you you can see or have any advice for uh, for any any, any improvements. Anyway, um, James Hayes, hello, welcome. Uh, do I read the chat? Yes, I do read the chat. Sorry, but uh, as uh, as you can see, I'm just about to wrap up, I'm afraid. Um, but it looks like 1080p live streaming is a success. It's durable. It's going to happen. So, um, yeah. the uh, Yeah, I'll live stream a little bit on Twitch later on tonight, hopefully. And then uh, Saturday morning at 10 a.m. GMT, I'll come back to YouTube and we'll do a proper flight stream live stream then. Anyway, uh, yeah, gonna gonna leave it there. So, uh, Pilot Panos uh, has to go as well. No worries, Pilot. Uh, Andy O. Um, I can't think how to say Kelly uh, Nichter. There we go. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna wrap up there. Uh, no Fortnite, none. All right then. Actually, I just downloaded um, 
the new Unreal Tournament tonight as well. Let's see if there is a multiplayer community for Unreal Tournament, the new one. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave it there. So, uh, thank you everyone for watching. Um, and uh, yeah, Saturday morning, 10 a.m. British time, uh, 10 a.m. UK time, we'll do a proper live stream. And if you want to see me play a few more different games, uh, I'll be on Twitch tonight, hopefully. So, uh, if anyone doesn't know where my Twitch is, it's just do for nine one one on Twitch. Same as uh, same as it's here. Anyway, I'm rambling. I always ramble at the end of the streams. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care out there, and I'll catch you all later. Uh, and I can't get my mouse off the screen to get over to OBS. There we go. Okay, right, bye guys. <laughs>